YouTube, what is up, you guys? Up on that front pickup. These knobs are switched, man. It's weird. This is the bridge pickup volume. This is the front pickup volume. A little different, huh? Dude, you guys, what is up? Back after vacation, right back to the YouTube grind. Um, right off the bat, I gotta thank all the new subs. This channel is just growing and growing, and I couldn't be more pumped about it. So if you've subbed and you're one of them watching, uh, man, I can't thank you guys enough. This has been a ton of fun. I've got a ton of good stuff coming. This is about to expand into all kinds of stuff, all kinds of content. And uh, let's like hop right into it after that. What I want to talk about today is how much does it cost to live in Nashville? I thought this would be kind of a good follow-up video to um, like how much money can you make playing gigs in Nashville, that video. Um, and that like off the bat, obviously, is my own personal experience in that video and what you're kind of making at the beginning, right? You know, it's, um, a lot of people are like, you can't live off of that, and you're right. You, it's really hard to live off of that, but you can make more money than that, you guys, and there's a lot of people down here that make more money than that. So I'm trying to give you just straight raw from my perspective um, in my experiences, you know? So each journey is their own. Um, so just keep that in mind when you're watching some of this stuff. And that's what I'm going to talk about, like, cost of living down here what stuff costs how much i've paid through rent throughout the years um maybe things you wouldn't think about i don't know this is really off the cuff um and let's like dive right in man when i first moved down here i moved down in september of 2016 from st louis missouri so any st louis or missouri people out there uh that's where i'm from and when i moved down i think my very first apartment i shared with one roommate two bedroom, one bath in Antioch, which Antioch is not the best part of town. Um, there's some nice areas and I think it's getting nicer, although I don't go there very much anymore, but I think total our rent was like $1,050, $1,000.50 per month before um, Wi-Fi or I think we had to, I, maybe water was included, but electrical wasn't. There was one other expense, something like that. So with two people, what did I pay? Um, maybe 550 or 525 I guess that would come out to be um and then we had internet I think internet was like I can't remember how much it was a month not a ton maybe a hundred bucks or whatnot the internet's about the same everywhere I've found um so that was in September of 2016 not a bad deal I lived probably mm, with traffic 30 minutes outside of town uh without traffic I could get there in 20 or so um so not crazy far, not the best part of town. It's, um, I didn't know that at the time. I just moved there. Um, and even since tw late 2016, I've 
feel like I've felt the costs of everything rising, right? Nashville's popular. That's probably why some of you have clicked on this video or other videos because I'm putting Nashville in the title. You know, a lot of people are moving here. Um, and you know what I didn't know when I moved here? You assume music is Nashville's biggest industry. It's what's known for Music City. But I'm pretty sure our biggest industry is actually healthcare. Um, so there's a lot of people that live here and work here that are not in music, you know? There's the most musicians um, around, no doubt, but there's a lot of people that also don't do music and uh, make more money than all of us and are driving up the prices. Um, it's just exploding. I mean, the changes I've seen on Broadway just since 2016, and if you talk to some real natives, you know, the changes they've seen, it's just, it's changing and growing and things are costing more and it's definitely pushing the average musician a little bit further and further outside the city. Um, but you can still find a good place to live and affordable and um, you gotta hustle, but if you're playing full time and getting gigs and playing on Broadway and stuff, you can live fairly close to town. So after that Antioch place, I moved to a place off East Thompson Lane in an area called like Berry Hill. Um, and there our rent started out at 1100 a month, I think. Um, and I had that same roommate, but there I was in a two bedroom, one and a half bath townhouse, like 1100 square feet. It was 1100 a month because I remember I was paying like a dollar a square foot. So 1100 a month. Um, so split. So I was still not having to pay that much at that point. I think that's what 550 a person. Um, then I think our internet at the time was maybe 60 bucks, bucks a month. Um, so we split it obviously, uh, and there I was a little bit closer to town. So then with no traffic, I was like maybe 12 or so minutes from downtown. Um, so closer, but at that time I wasn't playing downtown every day. So that wasn't a huge thing for me. I was doing a lot more programming work, working from home, taking gigs when I could get them. Um, and yeah, it, it wasn't that bad. Now I lived in that house for like three years and post COVID is when, um, that roommate had moved out and I was living there by myself, 1100 bucks a month by myself, but I was doing more programming work and gigging so I could afford it. And the second bedroom turned into my office in that house. Um, and honestly, it was way more house than I needed at the time, but um, I enjoyed it. And I remember I had at fairly short notice, just a few months that the rent was going from 1100 to just under 1500. Um, and they did that for the whole property. The property got bought out. Um, new management came in, raised all the prices, which is a story, honestly, I'm hearing a lot here in Nashville consistently. Um, I had another friend living at that same place that went through the same thing where their rent went up um, and they just had no choice. They had to, they had to move. Um, and same thing at the time, I already had more house than I needed and the thought of paying almost $1,500 before my utilities, before my internet um, costs and stuff was just too much. So from there, then I moved, I got a really sweet deal. I'm in the heart of East Nashville right now. And I have a studio apartment that's in the basement of a house. So the whole basement is a studio and I have my own entrance. It's in the heart of East Nashville. There's four other people, this is a big house that live upstairs in the house. Um, in this place, I pay 900 all in. That includes my water, my Wi-Fi. Um, it's run a little bit like a hostel, so it also includes things like paper towels and toilet paper. Um, I don't have to pay for those things, which is really nice. I have a way smaller place, but it's plenty for me um, right now. It's a good, it's a good spot. Um, now, I know if you were to look up that house on Zillow and you wanted to buy a house in East Nashville, I think that house is listed at like 1.2 million. Um, especially in East Nashville. Some of those houses are just, it's not even a crazy house. It is pretty big and the landlord um, and his partner are uh, carpenters. So they've expanded the house a lot. They turned it from a three bedroom to a five bedroom. They've added a bunch. So that value's gone up, but still, if you're looking to buy a house, you're gonna be farther out probably, unless you have a million dollars to spend, honestly. I mean, all in East, East Nashville, I'm sure there's deals and I don't know the market great. I'm just giving you guys my straight, my experience. Uh, it's expensive, it's really expensive. Buying a house now is um, expensive. And uh, that's my current living situation. So kind of rent for each thing. Um, and if anything, I just wanna give you guys like the idea of the prices and then my own experience. And also to say that you can find 
stuff for a little bit cheaper. You're going to be living with roommates. Um, if you come down here and especially if you're a single person and you've got music on your mind, right? Like you're trying to play music, you're going to have to probably go with roommates off the bat. Um, and just that's how it's going to go. The nice thing about here is it is easy to find roommates that are also musicians so you can play in a house, you know, um, because if you're in one of the little apartment complexes, these nice new apartment complexes they're putting up every day, everywhere, is um, are expensive. I mean, I know if you want to be like downtown for a studio or a one bedroom apartment, um, you're looking at paying anywhere from sixteen hundred a month up to twenty five hundred plus, depending on how luxury you want it to be and what part of downtown you're at. So, for a lot of people trying to do music moving down here, living at the heart of downtown is probably just not even possible, um, unless you have another income source, um, or you've gotten down here enough where you have a really consistent gig, but even at that point, you know, it's probably worth it to drive 20, 30 minutes downtown every day and pay half of what you pay in rent, um, versus living downtown and, you know, giving all your money to the man, right, uh, so, man, it's expensive. It's expensive to live down here. And I said in my other video, when you first get down here and you're trying to get gigs, your job really kind of is to go out, to meet people. And unless you're really conscious of your money, that gets really expensive quick, you know? If you're anywhere downtown, you're paying 7 to $9 for a beer, for a, a Bud Light or whatever just normal light beer, right? Um, you're paying, you know, if you want a shot, 12 to 14 bucks if you're downtown. Um a meal, especially anywhere around downtown, you're looking at 16 bucks for a burger or so. A coffee, at any of the like nice coffee shops, it's gonna run you about four bucks just for a black, normal, already brewed coffee. Um, and then they all ask you to tip, um, or you know, they flip the pad over, it's like that meme, you know. Um, so, man, it's expensive. Now there's still some places, you could go to Robert's downtown and get a cheap meal they've got a couple deals i think you can get a pbr down there for like three bucks or something um so there's still some little spots and broadway obviously is the tourist place broadway is going to be the most expensive you're going to pay more for food oh here's another thing i want to talk about you know what i've seen go up a ton there used to be a lot of places you could park for free now man free parking is like gone. And these companies have come in and bought all the parking spots, um, all the lots, all the garages. If you're wanting to park downtown, um, you better expect in any garage to pay at least $25. And if you're down there all day, that could go all the way up to $40 to $50. Um, if you're playing downtown, a lot of times, um, a lot of the bars do have parking especially the better bars the ones that treat their musicians better pay you more you know um they've got like parking pass so you don't get it for free most of the time but i can get out of there for 10 bucks um and park right next to the venue which is a huge bonus but man parking will get you and it's just it's expensive you know if you like to i like to go out and eat a good meal i love going out i like going out and seeing friends play and stuff and if you're not conscious or deciding to drink water um and stuff you know you go out, you're downtown, you buy two beers, you're already at, what is that, $18 before you tip. Now, if you pay to park down there, you're already at, I mean, you know, it just, <laughs> it just compounds. It is expensive to live here, man. And uh, it's really hard. And I'm watching the prices go up. I'm watching all the free parking go away. Uh, I'm watching people get pushed further and further out of the city, you know. And I have buddies that live 40 minutes out and will still make the commute downtown and play full-time, but they own a house 40 minutes out. They do great, uh, you know, and it just makes more sense to own a house with a family um, in a place, there's a place called White House up here that I have a friend that lives at. It's maybe 30, 40 minutes out of town. Um, and he consistently plays downtown, but he's got a son and a wife, and they've got a nice new build little house out there that uh, didn't completely break the bank on them. I, I think, I don't know the exact numbers. Um, I know all the guys in Lanco live a little bit more outside of town. They're all 20 to 30 minutes, give or take, um, outside of town. And they all own homes. I'm the only one that doesn't own a home. I'm also the new guy. So I, we're working our way up. But, but yeah, let me think of, I, I think that's most of it. You know, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of sense of like, basically, too long, don't read, it's expensive. 
it's expensive and it's getting more and more expensive. And I'm curious to see in 10 years how this affects the working musician um, and it pushing them out. And I want you guys to comment and like, tell me your guys' thoughts about it. You know, I still think this is a great place to live. If you want to do it, I really encourage you to come do it. You just got to know it's going to be tough. I mean, this choosing this as a career is really hard. You know, that's why I see a lot of musicians that have kids and almost steer their children away from trying to go into the music industry. Cause man, it's hard. It will chew you up and spit you out. Um, now you could do it and I've done it and I have a lot of friends that have done it, but it's hard work. I say this on all my videos, you know, you got to really want this if you want to come down here and do it. Um, and your life is not going to go the normal path if you really want to do it. It's just not. Um, I'm 30. I don't have any kids. I'm not married, right? You know, um, I don't own a house. Um, now, thankfully, I am in a position now where in the next three to five years, I can see those things in my future and it coming. Um, but, you know, you got to have multiple income sources. And uh, that leads me to kind of another thing. It's expensive down here. I'm just shooting off the cuff, you guys. This is welcome to Tim Avon Music if you're brand new to it. Yeah. Listen to me sit and talk, tell stories, play a little bit of guitar. Speaking of which, I get sidetracked a lot, man. Got the DGT today. I'm playing, you can't see it today, but through my normal setup, this HDRX20. Listen to this, man. This is nothing but reverb in the amp. Just, uh, uh, oh, whoops, whoops. See, this this messes me up. When I was talking about these volume knobs, I don't play on the front pickup that much, but I thought it sounded kind of good for that set. expensive to live here. I know I got sidetracked because I was about to say something. Uh, multiple income sources. And I was talking about YouTube. I've been doing videos like this on TikTok for a long time. And the only money I was making from TikTok was once in a while some tips um, on my live streams. And then students. That's really where it was. Um, I was making videos and then people liked how I was teaching stuff and I was getting students. Now already from YouTube I'm getting more students. And YouTube is actually paying me some money. It's not a lot of money. But... You know, um, I want you guys to know that like, I'm trying to push this into another potential income source by just doing what I love. I love throwing this camera up and making videos for you guys and trying to give you like a real life insight of like a normal person down here, trying to live, work, do the thing, um, and engage with this community. So I don't ever want you guys to feel like uh, I'm on here, I don't know, trying to just make money off of you guys, right? Uh, but the ads and stuff, since I've turned the ads on, I'm making a little bit of money. It's not a lot, but hey, $5 is more than $5 I had yesterday, right? So, you know, we're all out here grinding and that goes back to multiple income sources. I'm saying, okay, I could grow this, make a community out of something I love and uh, that can help me down the road, you know? So if you wanna come down here and play guitar or um, sing or anything it's going to be expensive it's getting more expensive by the day a lot of people are moving here um and uh yeah it's just it costs a lot going out costs a lot when you first get here you've got to go out because you've got to network and you've got to meet people but you know you can find cheaper parking you can park far away and there's still sometimes you can find street free parking or whatnot um and then, you know, you can choose to, I'm just gonna have one beer or not drink at all. Um, the alcohol is really what gets you, you know, cause if you're at 25 bucks already for the meal and then you get a $9 beer, you know, that that, that goes up quite a bit real quick. Um, I don't want this though to discourage anyone from thinking about moving down here. I just want you to know it's expensive and you're gonna have to work hard to be able to live down here if you're only playing music. Um, and that's just the reality of it, you know? Um, that's just the reality of it. So, you guys, if you made it to this point in the video, uh, I hope you enjoy some of the rambling. Me on here, I'm throwing the camera up, hanging out, talking, giving you my real-life experience of what I've gone through down here. Showing you, hopefully, some cool guitars, playing a good little decent bit of guitar. Um, so, I will plug again. I do lessons. If you're interested in lessons right now, you just got to, it's the same username. If you look me up on Instagram, shoot me a DM. I've got a bunch of students this week. It's just coming and going. I'm going to get a website up where it streamlines that process a little bit more, but um, 
Yeah, if you're interested in that, just reach out or leave a comment and I'll get in touch with you somehow if you can't find my Instagram and we'll make it work. Um, but man, I wanna thank you guys. Like it and subscribe if you liked it. You know, if you didn't, that's okay. Uh, hit the bell, I'm saying that on all the videos. Uh, and yeah, I think that's it for this one. So until next time, you guys, peace.